Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Welcome to another video. Let's talk about three things I absolutely hate about retro arcades. And there's a unifying theme with all three of these things. Now I'll be the first to tell you that I love retro arcades. They're super fun. I have a membership to one near my house and I like to explore different ones in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But there are three things I hate. Let's talk about it. So it's really hard for arcades to get the proper mix of sound. A lot of times when you go into a retro arcade or a barcade, it's just a dull roar. There's a bad mix of music and games. A lot of retro arcades and barcades like to have music over the loudspeakers, classic rock, hip hop, rap, something, some kind of loud music, and that's fine. I can enjoy that. But if all the games are turned up and the music is turned up loud, a lot of times it's just a dull roar and you can't enjoy any of the sounds of the arcades, any sounds of the pinball machines or the music itself. It's just just kind of, a, like I said, a dull roar. Now the National Video Game Museum in Frisco, Texas gets this right. They play 80s music and they have the machines where you can hear them and it's kind of a good mix. You can hear the music and you can hear most of the machines pretty well and it just works out right. So I think arcade operators, I know you guys have a hard job and you do remarkable work. I love it. I love that you keep retro gaming alive in the 2024 era. It's awesome, but uh, keep doing what you do. But a little better mix of sound is just some advice I have. Now, another pet peeve of mine with arcades has to do with the TV volume turned way up. Now, I don't like this at restaurants or pretty much any place. Crank up some music, that's fine, but there's no reason to have the TV blasting. You can always just turn on the subtitles. One arcade I was at not that long ago had a sporting event, turned up super loud. Nobody was really watching it, and you could barely sort of discern what they were saying, even though it was loud, because you also had the machines going, and it's just a bad mix. A TV yelling at you while you're trying to play a video game, and nobody's even watching the game. Again, turn on the subtitles for hardcore fans that want to watch it. This is a cool arcade that has seating where you can sit and watch TV, which is great because it's cool when they have sporting events on and the volume is muted and you got subtitles. And with sports, you can see what's going on. You don't need to hear it anyway. And to have a TV yelling at you while you're trying to play a pinball game or an arcade game ruins the vibe for me. Now, this is the third and final one for this video. Rock music machines. I love pinballs themed after bands like Rush, Led Zeppelin, Kiss, Metallica, classic rock. Absolutely love it. This is a great trend. This is a great modern trend. Now there's some older machines that are just basically bells and bloops, but the modern machines have the full versions of the song, sometimes 10 or 12 songs. Foo Fighters machine, love it. There's a great new Elton John pinball machine by Jersey Jack that you have got to play to believe. It's incredible, but so often you go into an arcade and they'll have several rock machines or maybe just one and you can't hear it at all or you can barely hear it. A lot of the fun of these machines and a big reason they're created is for the music. So crank these up, even if you have to turn some other machines down beside them, crank these rock mu music machines up. It makes them so much more enjoyable. That's a big part of their appeal. <laughs> Interestingly, my son and I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame a couple of years or so ago when we were in Ohio for Korg's Retro Gaming Con. This might have been three or four years ago now. We went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and they had a handful of these machines. I uh, can't remember which ones, but there were several rock and roll pinball machines and they were dead silent in a room that was silent. I had no idea what, they're, what they were thinking. But anyway, if you own a retro arcade, again, you're doing awesome work. I appreciate you guys. I love it. But just some ideas and just some pet peeves of mine as far as the music, the sound, and all of that goes. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what are your retro arcade, your retro barcade, or whatever have you, pet peeves. It can be things that aren't related to sound, but especially if you have, you know, something about the sound in mind, let me know in the comments. I would appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. We'll talk to you in another video.